Hey, buddy, watch this. Hello, hello, Regis Kilbin is the name, and Hearthstone is the game, and it's time to open some more Copolds and Catacombs packs. I found myself with some spare battle net balance and some spare gold, so I decided why not open 20 more packs just for the fun of it, see if we can get any golden cards to add to the collection or at least build our dust reserves a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump into this pack opening as it was recorded live on my Twitch stream. Pack number one. I don't even know if we're going to have time for this. I love the Holy Broad spam, guys. That's a good sign. We're going to get some good luck, I'm sure of it. I want at least one golden legendary, right? One golden legendary is the goal. Dust is the secondary goal. 15 packs, two golden legendaries? Now that would be a good result. This is a good pack. No goldens, that's weird, just three rares. Usually if you get multiple rares like that, there's a golden in the, in the set, but... I mean, realistically, we're only supposed to get one legendary in 20 packs. Even that's not a guarantee. That would be a perfectly average result, so we could come up totally short. It's bound to happen eventually. Gotta open so many gibberers. Yeah, we should keep a gibberer account, but I already... I wasn't paying attention to our rares, so... Who knows how many gibberers we've had. So far, this has been a terrible start. My god. We are seven packs deep, and we don't even have a purple yet. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, that that made up for it a little bit. I always confuse THR Paladin cards for gold cards. The yellow frame on Paladin does look like uh, a golden card sometimes, yeah. At first glance. Okay, so that's hilarious. Complaining about the golden card, the the epic cards there, and then we get a golden epic uh, <laughs> right off the bat. And it, hey, there's a gibberer! Nice! This this is already a successful pack opening. Honestly, Golden Epic is pretty amazing. It's it's not dust, which kind of sucks, but of course it's still a bright spot on the uh, collection, which is always nice. Golden Potion of Heroism? That's not too bad. It's actually a really cool looking gold in that floating sword. And the floating uh, potion. That's cool how the floating sword pops into frame. Watch, watch, watch. Boom. Floating sword. That's awesome. It's really good. Complain about golden legendaries too. <laughs> we haven't gotten one single golden legendary. Wow. That's a good pack. It's a second golden epic. That's really nice. Golden. I think I already have a golden call to arms. I think this might be our second golden call to arms. And the golden fungal mancer too. Basically just has some glowing mushrooms there. No big deal. <laughs> it's a god pack! Wow! That is a god tier pack! Oh my gosh! Wow, 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 wow! Okay, a couple dragon cards. What's it gonna be, guys? Take a guess. Golden Temperus. Oh my god, I think it's the same thing. I think it's a golden temperance, but this is a heck of a pack, man. All right, take your guesses, guys. Get your guesses in. WTF? Bad pack. Holy broad. Holy something else. <laughs> All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Not a golden temperance, but a temperance nonetheless. Okay. <laughs> That's <laughs> uh, just 400 dust, but uh, I'll take it. I like dust. I like. Now we're back to normal. Now the back. The rest will be boring. That was our high point. We peaked. Packs don't get much better than that. I've only ever had a couple double legendary packs, and certainly not one in store for us tonight. This is gonna be riding out the normal packs to the end, which is fine. Kind of forgot Green Jelly was actually a card name. If somebody had told me just now and said, Oh, Green Jelly's a card, I would have said, Stop being stupid. There's no card named Green Jelly. Uh, completely forgot it was called that. That's a, such a funny name. That's a pretty good pack. Void Ripper. I still want to play with this card some more. This thing feels powerful. It just like hasn't been played yet. I feel like it's got some potential though, for sure. 
Alrighty, kobold monk. I think we had a couple cold, cold, kobold monks so far. Alright. Golden seeping oozling. That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I like that. Alright, one last pack. Never anything good here, so. We know this is destined for failure. Oh, an epic is better than normal, though. UE. We'll call that UE. We have UI. That's UE. Alright, so how do we do here? Uh, 1600 dust is solid. We basically spent, uh... We basically spent $20 on a legendary. If you think about it that way, that doesn't sound quite so good. But, uh, we also got some golden cards, right? Seeping Oozling, Call to Arms, and yeah, two golden epics. That's worth something, certainly. $20 on a legendary doesn't sound great, though. But that's what happens, you know, I'm, I'm clearly buying packs pretty inefficiently at this point. So that shouldn't be too surprising. Did we in fact have two? No, just one golden. I must have been thinking of Unidentified Mall. Just the one golden. A lot of goldens, though, in this set, of course, because I'm finally keeping my golden cards. And there you go, those were our 20 packs. You had that one really awesome pack, and actually somebody predicted the Temperus there, and we ended up opening Temperus. Uh, nothing too absurdly crazy beyond that, although a handful of nice epics added to the collection, and enough dust for a spare legendary. That's not so bad at the end of the day, and of course, it's just fun opening packs. All that said, if you guys have any thoughts, comments, questions, of course, on kobolds and catacombs, packs, or cards, leave those in the comments below. But until then, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, game on.